this morning. Everything is calm and beautiful. But in the night we had a lightning storm, thunderstorm over there in the mountains, and rain, and wind. Something we never thought was possible this time yesterday morning. But it was. But no problem. Didn't last long and now it's completely quiet and peaceful. And also there are rain on the tent. You can see. <laughs> Never imagined that would be ever possible, but it is. <laughs> okay, so where we're camping here, this is uh, an altitude of 2,700 meters. So. Uh, just in comparison, that's uh, two times Ben Nevis in Scotland, the uh, highest mountain in Scotland. And where we were yesterday on the very top, where we cycled up to 3,000 metres, that's, that's pretty close to uh, three times Mount Snowdon in Wales. So even though it doesn't feel it when you're riding it, it doesn't feel that, that uh, high, but uh, it is really high, 3,000 metres. <laughs> and now we'll pack the tent away and uh, yeah, basically go downhill for, for a long time until we get to a town called Kazaman. So we may get there today. What's Jamie doing? We are looking on the DC, uh, how do I say? The fog? Frog today. Yeah, yes. Because when you look over there, I can show you one minute, you will see lots of these are beginning to come up here. So frog. we frog, so we need to come down the mountain now. No. <laughs> Maybe. It's normal. Well, we'll be having breakfast with telling Jamie that on mountains the weather can change quickly. All of a sudden it can be perfect and sunny. And the next second it can be foggy and you can't see anything. You can't even see you three meters in front of you. Well, Jamie couldn't understand that. So yeah. what happened five minutes later? A huge uh, cloud came over us. Now he knows what that's about. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what was it like? What? What was it like? Not good. <laughs> this is not feel good. <laughs> so that's what it's like on mountain. But yeah, we'll get packed away and start rolling back down the hill, back to the heat. I don't think uh, the town is very high, so it'll probably be hot again when we get down there. So, okay, let's uh, get packed away and get going. <laughs> Down there, that's the road we'll eventually be riding on there through the valley. So, okay, let's go. Okay, just leaving a perfect camping spot there. There's no water, but we had enough water ourselves. So now it's just downhill. Let's uh, have a nice ride, enjoy the view. That's where people are living, yeah. Families live there, yeah. And they move their tents around depending on where they want to graze their animals. See, not so often they see tourists, these boys. Yeah. <laughs> see, they quite like they come running out the houses to say hello. Mm -hmm. 
Shake our hands and say hello. <laughs> See like quite a few times. So you get more children running out of <laughs> well yurts. Good place for motorcycles as well. They hire these motorbikes in Kazakhstan and Martin. Mm -hmm. was just uh, descending but a few actually quite steep climbs but it was only short but most of the time now it's just uh, downhill looking at the amazing scenery horses yurts on the way amazing road here to Kazaman a little bit bumpy though but, uh, yeah and I've heard it gets worse towards Kazaman so let's see how much progress we can make on these bumpy roads but, uh, Scenery is amazing. today we've had three pretty star sharp and steep climbs not long but pretty steep so I think from here it's downhill we will have our lunch here there's too many flies and biting insects at the river there so stay here by the horses by the looks of it Just sat here and had our lunch. Talked about one thing, there's a few really old beaten up larders coming by. And now we just think. No, and with two sheep in the boot. <laughs> no, two sheep in the boot. Yeah. Yeah, and the most amazing thing is we don't even think it's strange anymore. We just think we just look at it as watch it go by. That was in Denmark or Europe when we saw something like that. We've been shocked. But no, it's just normal now, not even strange. That's just the first village we're coming to up to the mountain pass there. The only thing we've seen before now are just uh, yurts and people living in the mountains in tents. Oh, I thought it was an easy day today, but that wasn't true. Quite a few of these short, steep climbs here. Now we come down low again, so it's getting hot again. The road is really bumpy in a lot of places. climbing and there's one more climb all of a sudden there was tarmac 
What a relief. And the view, pretty spectacular. In the distance we can see Kazaman. Now we're just approaching the town of Kazaman. Should be a guest house to you we can stay in tonight. But have a nice, after a few days camping. Town lost in time. Mud brick walls and houses, bales of hay. Hello! we turned up here, CBT guest house. I don't have any rooms but they let us sleep there where Jamie is now or we can put the tent up over there so over there. I'm not too sure yet what we do. I think maybe we might try sleeping over there. Who wants to sleep over there? Well, I think we'll try. You can always change our minds if we'd rather put the tent up but hmm. for the moment I think we'll try that. <laughs> See, there's no mosquitoes here, so I don't know. We've seen lots of people doing it in Uzbekistan, so let's give it a go. Yeah. We are extremely lucky in people once again. We came here. A lady just made dinner for us. We can sit here, we can even sleep here. A little bit worried about the black clouds over there, yeah. never mind that. <laughs> Might be a new thing. We never tried sleeping outdoors before. I suppose lots of other people do it, so. Yeah, we'll decide when what? we have eaten it. We're going to sleep here and put the tent up over here. That's yeah. also an option. And I think we need to sleep here because this is an experience we can have in our life. So we need to do it, Daddy. Okay, we'll do it. Yeah, thank you. And look at the dinner. And also, wow. 15 minutes, she will bring us some national food of Kyrgyzstan. Wow. With some meat and some uh, noodles and some uh, onions. Perfect. Look Hello. forward to that. Salam. Uh -huh. This tastes fantastic. This is the reward for a 3,000 meter mountain. Mm, very nice. <laughs> and the appetite is maximum after mm -hmm. three days or four days on the road. <laughs> Here we can actually hear the call to prayer. A long, long time ago we've heard that, even though we've been to Islamic countries like Iran, Uzbekistan. Yeah, that's the first time we've heard that for a long time. Now I want to tell you about the last bit of today. So today it has been pretty good day today and good roads, but the last was not good and not funny. Uphills and down, and that is not funny. Okay, so good night from here and today we are sleeping in this kind of thing. I don't know how to say it, Daddy. It's a Persian uh, dining table. A Persian dining table. Outside. Outside. And now we are sleeping in here, and that is a little bit special, because this is not normal. We are doing this, and also there are some uh, fest or party over there, I can hear. So yeah, good night from here.